Hey everyone, how's it going? Jumping on for a quick video to do my final Premier League table prediction. I did one a couple of weeks ago. Three seasons now over. The season starts tomorrow. But these are my final thoughts on how the Premier League table will end. I'll drop in what I did a few weeks ago. We can compare tables uh, and then the season kicks off. It's very exciting. First things first. Yes, the 92 teams song is coming tomorrow, Friday. I'm going to drop it just before the Man City Burnley game as a uh, pre uh, premium, a premier, premier, that's what I'm looking for. So jump on, uh, get ready. Uh, I'll do it maybe 6 30, 7 pm. We can all watch it together. I'll get in the comments and they'll be fun. And then everyone can stop DMing me about the song. But it is a good one, so it's worth it. As ever, before we start, do subscribe, like, comment below with your thoughts on the table. Now the season's about to kick off. Join my patron for extra ranking videos and to support the channel and get mentioned in every video in the show notes. Right, let's crack on. Here's the table that I did. Uh, from earlier a few weeks ago. Let's see how I compare now. Because in 20th, I'm going to go for a team that I hope don't finish 20th. I think they will. Luton Town. I think they're going to have loads of fun doing it. I think they're going to be a great fun team. I just don't think they've maybe got enough to uh, to battle against uh, the, the Premier League. It's going to be a, a big one for them. But you know, I've seen they signed Ross Barkley. That could be a great signing. Could be a terrible signing. We'll find out. But I'm going to go over Luton in 20th. Sorry, Luton fans. In 19th, I'm going to go with a team who I think are underprepared for the season. Sheffield United. Star players have gone. Um, don't look like they're really ready for the season to start. Sander Berger going to Burnley. Weird signing. I think it's going to be a bit too much. I think the home crowd at Bramwell Lane will play a big part. And I think they'll be uh, winning a few points there. I think it'll be a bit too much. So I think they'll be light loot and returning straight to the championship. And my final team in the relegation zone is Wolves. I think I said earlier in the previous video they might struggle. Lopetegui's gone, which is very random. Their captain's gone. Neves. Jimenez has gone to Fulham. They're a mess of a club at the moment. Don't know what's going on. Wolves fans, let me know. I think they're going to finish 18th as a result. It's to be a shame. I like Wolves. I like going to Molyneux. I think it's going to be a hard season for Wolves. Just above them, I'm going to go for a team who just missed out on relegation last year. Nottingham Forest. Not as much of a crazy summer this time around in terms of 400 players being signed, but I still think they're going to have an interesting season and they'll be there or thereabouts. Um, if they can hang on to Brennan Johnson, then I think they might be all right. But I think they'll be they'll probably be safe just about, but I think it'll be tight. 17th for them. In 16th, let's go for a team who are always there or thereabouts, Everton. Even though they should be doing better, and now they've got Sean Dyche, I think that almost guarantees some safety, but I don't think they've got enough to really push on much higher at the table. So for me, Everton, 16th. Another disappointing season probably for Toffees fans, but uh, that's the way it goes. In 15th position, I'm going to go for Burnley, uh, who I think will be fairly safe. Company, untested at this level, but I think they've got enough. You know, they got 101 points last season. There are good teams and good players, lots of Premier League experience in that squad. I think they'll be enough and they'll be, they'll be comfortable. In 14th position, I'm going to go for Fulham, which I think will be disappointing for Fulham fans given how well they were last season, but a bit of a mess at the moment. Not really sure what's going on. Potentially losing lots of players. The manager is staying. Will Mitrovic stay? We'll find out. They've got enough quality there to be okay, but I think they'll finish lower than last season. So into 13th position, I'm going to go with Bournemouth, who again, I think will be okay. Uh, they're making some smart signings. New manager, I think, will do quite well, though he's untested in the Premier League, obviously, but uh, has a good track record. I think they'll be okay, Paul. If they're a smart club, they know their size, they know what they are. They don't punch above too much above their weight. Make them some smart signings. Max Aaron's good signing. I think they'll be 13th. In 12th then, it's going to be Crystal Palace. I mean, we were 12th for basically all of last season. Only finished 11th because Chelsea were so terrible. I think we'll be there, there again. Again, we might be losing some players for the start of the season. Made some interesting signings. We've got Eze, hopefully he'll stay. We've got Roy, which means they're going to be okay. And Ray Lewington in his shorts. But I can't see us finishing much higher than 12th. In 11th, I'm going to go for Brentford, um, which will be a very good season for them. But I think if they have Tony, if they had Tony for most of the season, they'd be probably aiming for higher. But I think without him, they may struggle. A lot of uh, a lot of pressure on Burmo and Visser's shoulders. But I think they'll be okay. They've proven that they can do okay. Uh, Brentford with, the, with their manager, with their resource, with their team. So they'll be just outside the top 10, 11th for them. In 10th, I'm going to go for West Ham, who I would have had further on down the season had they not signed Harry Maguire and James Wood-Prowse, who are apparently at this point both about to sign, apparently. If they do, great signings. If they don't, I might have them a bit lower, but I'm going to assume they do sign, so I'm going to have them in 10th. I think they'll be okay. West Ham, I think it's higher than I said to them uh, a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, some smart signings from them. They've got the money, spending it well. In 9th, I'm going to go for Brighton. I think the European football will have an impact. Um, if they can keep Quesado, they'll be fine. If they can't, it could be a long season for them, but they've proven so far their recruitment is so good. They know what they're doing, so Brighton in 9th. In eighth, I'm going to go for Aston Villa, uh, another team who obviously got European football, but I think they'll be okay. They're shown in pre-season, they're looking quite good. Watkins will get a load of goals this season, I think. Pau Torres is a great signing at the back. 
and they'll do all right. In seventh, I'm going to go for Tottenham Hotspur, assuming Harry Kane stays, although it's currently been reported they've accepted an offer from Bayern Munich, so who knows? But they do have Son still and Richarlison. They should be okay. I think seventh would be all right for Tottenham. Probably feels like a disappointment to Spurs fans, but that's pretty much where I have them, with or without Kane, to be honest. In sixth, I'm going to go for Chelsea, um, which would be a, obviously a massive improvement on last season. I think that'll be a really interesting team, Chelsea, to see this season under Pochettino. Looked great in pre-season. Jackson looks like a great signing. Uh, they've made some really, really good signings. That could be very interesting. Could go one of two ways. It could be amazing. It could be terrible. But I, I see Chelsea finishing sixth this year. Back into Europe. In fifth, I've got Newcastle United, which obviously would be... Um, not as good as last season, but given they got Champions League football, I still think you'd be happy with that Newcastle fan, surely. Let me know in the comments. I think you're a good enough team to definitely be in and around the top four. Uh, but I think you'll finish fifth this season. But you know, if I was you, I'd take that. Which means into the top four, we've got Liverpool at fourth. Obviously, didn't do very well last season. That'd be a huge improvement. And I think they. Uh, I think it's time for them to do well. My prediction is that Darwin is going to be massive and score loads of goals, which would obviously make a mockery of all the songs I've done about him and videos. But I think they'll be fourth Liverpool this season. In third, I've got Arsenal, who I think will, again, you know, have another great season. Pushed City all the way this year, uh, last year. I think they'll be there or thereabouts. Again. I think it'll be tight between them and who I've got in second. But I think Arsenal will finish third this season. Arsenal fans, would you take that? I probably would. In second, I've got Man United who I think are going to uh, be really good under, under Ten Hag this year. I said it before in a previous video. They're my surprise this season. Uh, Bruno's captain. Rashford's there. Rasmund, Hoyland could be interesting. I've got Man United pushing City all the way for the title. And of course, it's Man City in top place. Can't really look beyond them, can you? Some great signings. Kovacic, great signing. They're going to go all the way again to City, surely. If they don't, something crazy's happened. But there you go. Let me th know your thoughts on the uh, my predictions there. Comment below. Subscribe, like, all that if you're here. Join my Patreon, get the mention below the video and uh, help support the channel going forward. Get extra rating uh, videos as well on the Patreon. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow for the 92 League Clubs song. Uh, so get yourself a cup of tea in the evening. I'll see you then. Goodbye.